A mental health program that's been around for years is set to close. Next week, Shelter Care's Royal Avenue Respite Services will end. KZI 9 News reporter Sarah Herwood spoke with a woman who stayed in the program to get her reaction. She is now live in the studio. Sarah. Well, this is a devastating blow for people who stayed at Royal Avenue Shelter and employees who've been with a mental health program for years. The woman I spoke with says that if it weren't for Royal Avenue, her life might have taken a turn for the worse. This is Flora, one of the, one of the um, house cats that I like to pet. She loves to be loved. Susanna Samus enjoys spending time at her adult foster care home in Cottage Grove. This is pictures of my grandson. He's my joy of my life. Every day brings a new battle for Samus, who suffers from bipolar disorder, dissociative identity disorder, and PTSD. As I was to the point where I knew I didn't want to commit suicide, but I was so afraid. I was going to snap just like that. She gets strong in some areas and days she's weak. You know, the thing with all people that are Ill, Ill, mentally ill, they have a lot of good days. But when they have bad days, they're bad. Just three years ago, Sam has stayed here at the Royal Avenue Shelter Care Program, a place her and her foster care provider, Sherry Romaine, agree was her saving grace. They had certain times that they closed. If I was having a really bad thought or a really bad moment, I could knock on the door and they would let me in and I would talk to somebody. The program is designed to house individuals who suffer from a psychiatric crisis but aren't severe enough to be housed in the Johnson Unit, a psychiatric ward in Eugene. But because of cuts in state and county funding, the program will close next week. A heavy blow for Samus and others who see this campus as a safe place to regroup and find peace. It scares me to death. If I can't, you know, if I don't go to the Johnson Unit, Am I going to end up in jail? Am I going to end up on the streets? Am I going to end up dead? And we did reach out to Susan Band, the executive director of Shelter Care, but she declined to go on camera. Also, an employee I spoke with said that this really is the only option for people in Eugene. She said that if people aren't severe enough for the Johnson unit, they'll mostly likely, most likely end up on the streets now with the program closing. Live in the studio, Sarah Hurwitz, KZI 9 News.